I thought it would be great to get a, a little bit of a broader perspective. So to start off the session, I thought we could uh, start with a quick video call actually using Link. And I'd like to introduce a special uh, guest speaker uh, here with us today. Bill. Bill. Hey, Bill. Bill, it's so great to, to have you joining us. Thank you so much for being here. Where are you, where are you joining us uh, from? Uh, I'm in my office in Seattle and uh, enjoying using uh, Link here. Great. So you can see I'm actually using Link to do this video call. When I maximize this, we're going to switch over to high definition uh, video. And in a couple of seconds, you'll see a great high definition uh, video interaction uh, with Bill uh, himself. Uh, so, Bill, you know, thank you so much for being here. We're using off-the-shelf uh, PCs, off-the-shelf web webcams, just an internet connection. But with Link, we get the high-definition uh, video. Bill, why don't you start off by just giving us a sense for five or six years ago, you really pushed the company to get into this software-powered unified communication space. W tell us about why. What was the opportunity you saw? Well, Microsoft about the magic of software and making things work together, allowing everything to be a platform for uh, applications. And when you looked at the PBX, it really sat there by itself. It had its own directory, its own infrastructure. It wasn't connected up to the groups you defined. It didn't have access to your schedule. It couldn't connect up to the, the PC screen in the right way. And so that isolation meant that it wasn't available platform. And actually, the end you navigating back and forth. Uh, and as the mobile phone came in, that almost was a third thing. And so software wasn't helping the user in the way we thought it could. Great. Over the past five years, obviously, we've made some good progress. Any thoughts on how you think the industry has kind of evolved over the, the five or six years? Well, I think the importance of unified communications is far stronger today than it was when we started on this path. If you look at the high-definition screens, the cameras, uh, the pervasiveness of the mobile phone, the desire of the employee to use that a mobile phone and then be able to transfer calls and data uh, back and forth to their PC. Uh, the desire to have a, a workforce that's mobile, bring people in, collaborate with them in new ways. The need to put everything into a consistent platform is very clear now. And so it really uh, it was very timely that we made the big bet in this area. Absolutely. Now, it, when you think about this shift from sort of the traditional PBX to more of a software-powered uh, unified communications, how, how big is that shift? How do you relate it to other shifts in the industry in terms of importance or size? Well, I think it, this is probably the most important thing to have for the office worker uh, since the PC came along. You know, there's always the tension to great things that are going on in, in the home and consumer type stuff, but it's important to remember that product shipping in the office is a central thing, and I'm so excited that this one is coming together. When you look at somebody's desktop, and right now you see that phone is a separate thing and the PC, uh, and you, you are working with one, learning one, it's got funny buttons, funny ways that you do things, you know, people still feel a little inept. That screen can put up full sets of information. It can uh, you know, have your calendar up there. The whole thing will be quite different. And so when you see somebody's uh, desk in a movie and you see that separate phone, you'll think, wow, that was before this happened. That was before software came in and a great platform <laughs> emerged that would let people uh, do flexible work. Super. So we've made some great progress. We're excited about the link launch itself. Any sense for what you think comes next? Well, software has not uh, stopped doing its magic. Uh, you know, we're seeing uh, that with the camera now, we can do visual recognition. We're seeing whiteboards. I think it will become standard in the office that your whiteboard will let you draw people in for video conferencing. It will let you navigate through information. Uh, so that kind of touch type interface, uh, the, the video recognition, the voice recognition, those advances in software will drive us to a new level. Another key point here is that we're opening this up to uh, application developers. And so a lot of the surprise we'll see will be 
coming from those application developers. Whenever in the past we've given people a rich platform and let them go at it, let them understand what does a hospital need, what does a law firm need, what does a call center need, uh, they've been able to really do some amazing things. So this is the start of unleashing that whole uh, software applications community. Well, Bill, thank you so much for joining us. It's really great that we could use the technology itself to bring you in, but I really appreciate you taking the time, and uh, uh, thanks so much for all your efforts today. Thanks, Bill. So you can see that, you know, uh, with Link, every single face-to-face -face communication uh, can be better, whether you're connecting across the hall or across the world. You know, Bill's 3,000 miles away in, in his office in Seattle, uh, and yet just with off-the-shelf PCs, off-the-shelf, it's a $50 webcam we've got going there, and our internet connectivity, uh, we're able to have a, a very, very high quality face-to-face -face meeting.